Here are the names of the offices of the host club. These people and the members they represent have for years anticipated the opportunity of staging this great national event on their own home ground. To coordinate the activities of the parent club and the host club, a national show committee made up of Mrs. Whaley, Adler, and Tenges was appointed, and Mrs. Naomi Mingeni, secretary of the host club in Kansas City, was named show secretary. The judges elected by ballot of the parent club members are Mr. Barry L. Robbins for specials and intersex competition, Mr. Noah Bloomer, Jr. for dogs, and Mrs. R.M. Stoddard for bitches. for our trip to Kansas City has been beautiful. The air has been crisp and just cool enough for our dogs to be alert and an excellent coat for the big show. Here we drive west along US Highway 40 to Kansas City. It is Saturday morning and as we planned we'll reach our destination in ample time to attend the board meeting of the parent club this afternoon. Later there will be a cocktail party followed by a steak dinner where we'll have a chance to meet old friends and new from all across the land. Even the dogs sense the air of excitement, and as we approach the metropolitan area, we stop in a safe place to let them frolic and have a last romp. We are almost there, just 21 miles to go. Soon we'll arrive at the motel where we have made our reservations. Of special interest at the show will be a new feature, the presentation of a passing parade of great shepherds. Dogs who by their accomplishments and contributions have earned recognition in the annals of the breed and a place of endearment in the hearts of all who love German shepherd dogs. Eighteen of the great dogs of the past have been entered in this special non-competitive event and we are eagerly looking forward to seeing these old heroes. We made our headquarters where you see us here and early on Sunday morning set out to find the American Royal Building in downtown Kansas City. see the catalog in which are listed 231 shepherds, 92 dogs, 99 bitches, 36 specials, and 10 additional classes, making a total entry of 237. Fifteen puppy dogs six to nine months were entered in the first class to be judged by Mr. Noah Bloomer. He put Sender of Moray in first place, second was Helen Hesse's Hessians Alertson, third was Lana Estacado Kennels and Mrs. Warren Wilming's Lana Estacado's Bolero, and fourth was High Haven's Rocket, owned by W.S. and Lola A. Northern. Twelve shepherds were entered in the class of puppy dogs 9 to 12. Feinzutz Tenera, owned by Mr. and Mrs. J.N. Simpson, was first. Second was Maxine Harold's Beclaire's Assault von Frosthaus. Third was Heller of Mill Lake Farm, owned by Ralph and Mary Ellen Nowotny. Fourth, Hopwood's Black Ace, owned by Hopwood's Kennels. 
Here's a view of the trophy table, beautifully decorated and displaying the 69 coveted trophies. There were 14 entries for novice dogs. Won by Mr. and Mrs. James Norris's Destry of Longworth. Second place went to Mrs. John B. Perriman's Perry Manor's Black Bart. Third place to Elsie Albritton's Hale of Bermola and fourth place to Russell and Janetta Lomans, Joseph of Ruslow. Here you see some of the people milling around the show secretary stand and seated around the two large rings. The north end of the arena has been roped off providing a ring 100 feet by 75 feet for dogs and there is an identical ring at the south end of the arena for bitches. Midway between the two rings in the middle of the arena is the secretary stand and trophy table and spectators have been allowed to come into this area for a closer view. The bred by exhibitor class brought 10 dogs into competition. Messrs. Bobker and Scheinman's Nippersinks Vulcan placed first. Second, Mr. Rikanu's Largo's Whirlwind Comet. Third was Mr. Lecoq's Elo of Edgetown. And Antonio of Arrowhead, owned by Mr. and Mrs. Conahan, was fourth. Here is the American bred class for dogs. dogs are entered in this class. of Forjan, owned by Rudolph and Emma Buckman, placed first. Mary Turner's Aaron Audway placed second. Wilverdon Kennel's Wilverdon's Lex placed third. And Swallow Acres Fellow, owned by Leela Jewett, placed fourth. the judging of dogs, Mrs. Stoddard has selected the placings for bitches. Sixteen were entered in the puppy class six to nine months. One by Jody of Mill Lake Farm, owned by Barbara Dobbins. Second was Lana Estacado's Barotoran. Third was Helm's Leading Lady. And fourth was Jill of Mill Lake Farm. Puppy Bitches 9 to 12, August and Marie Rose's Kuna von Steinheim placed first. Barbara Hearn's Reinsutz placed second. Third was Mrs. Fairweather's Elegant Encore of Glen Run. And fourth was Carolyn Chernick's Durfin von Karenwald.
In the class of 12 bitches, Robert Fenton's Fritzy of Mill Lake Farm placed first. The Hume's least Etta Haas placed second. Hopwood's Kimberly placed third. And Walter Lust Peter placed fourth. In the class of nine bred by exhibit bitches, Hessian's Queller placed first. Aris of Long Work placed second. Einer of Edgetown placed third, and Mrs. Camerata, any baby of Glasgow, placed fourth. We're entered in the American bread class. Mrs. Stoddard selected Mr. and Mrs. Bill Williams, Diane of Elder Grove first, Long Juliet von Nordland second, Mr. Schindler's Aberdees Lowry third, and Lana Estacada's Cecily fourth. some of the spectators who return early for the preferred seats at ringside before the exciting judging of the afternoon begins. There goes Jean Tenges, president of the German Shepherd Dog Club of Wisconsin. Here you see from left to right Mrs. Pipkin, Robbins, Williamson, and Whaley. And these are the judges, Mr. Bloomer, Mrs. Stoddard, and Mr. Robbins. Here are some of the principals of the show. Now for the passing parade of great shepherds. This is champion Asta von Hexentanz, born January 18, 1950 in Germany. Owned by Ralph S. Roberts and Harold E. Sands, Burbank, California. Asta finished for his American championship in less than 60 days. Here is champion Keeneland of Grafma, UDT. Owned and bred by Mrs. Mary E. Turner and being shown by Virginia McCoy. Champion Dalvik von Lieberstrom. Owned by Walter Lust Kennels, Farmington, Michigan. And bred by Lieberstrom Kennels. His bloodlines take in some of Lieberstrom's finest through his mother and some very fine and dominant lines through his imported father. Dalvik, born April 15, 1950, is young yet, and no doubt will make an even deeper mark upon our breed as the years go by. Here is champion Gerndes Ludwig, R.O.M., owned by and being shown today by Mrs. Robert Stoddard of Jeff Lynn Kennels in Highland Park, Illinois. Blue won best of breed at Westminster two years in a row. He has 71 best of breeds and 59 group placings. His most recent was his best of breed at nine years of age at the Morris and Essex show. This is Aaron of Dahmer, UDT, another great owned by Mrs. Mary E. Turner. Aaron was born December 29, 1947. Here is a 1955 Grand Victrix, champion Solanina of Rushhagen, C.D., born November 5, 1952. She is owned by Maida Manor Kennels, Lincoln Estates, Frankfort, Illinois, and was bred by Mrs. Frank L. Rush of Des Plaines, Illinois. champion Semba von Hagen, C.D., born September 13, 1949. She is owned by Rush Hagen Kennels, Des Plaines, Illinois. Her place in our passing parade will always be assured by her daughter's name on the von Stefanitz Trophy. And here is Mary Turner herself, showing her champion Balder of Aaron, U.D.T. He was born July 6, 1950. 
Balder and Keeneland are two of six champions currently in this country who have acquired all their obedience titles. This is champion Val of Longworth R.O.M. being shown by his owner and breeder, Virginia McCoy of Longworth Kennels. Born March 4, 1946, Val has sired puppies that number in the thousands and is the highest R.O.M. dog in history with 655 points to date. The last of greats in today's passing parade is international champion Zarek von Lieberstrom, R.O.M., born July 19, 1948, owned by Dick Barrett, Heidebaum Kennels, Delaware, Ohio, bred by Grant and Vera Mann's Lieberstrom Kennels in Detroit. Zarek had 170 R.O.M. points and qualified for his R.O.M. a few years ago at a relatively young age. And there you have it, probably the greatest array of German shepherds ever assembled in one ring. This is indeed a memorable sight, and truly one of the high moments of the show. They get a big round of applause from the enthusiastic audience as they make their exit. judging of 22 dogs in the open class. First place was Dr. Wilson's Letton Frolic of Scharweg. Second, Grantman's Bush von Sylvestin. Third, Frank Lopez's Iro von Ureri. And fourth, Arbides Kingno, owned by Margaret Dominic. At the conclusion of judging open classes, the rings are consolidated into one huge ring in which Mr. Robbins later will take over to judge mixed classes and specials. Here, Mr. Bloomer judges winner's dog.
selects Dr. O.E. Wilson's Latin Frolic of Charavay. And for reserve women's dog, Rudolph and Emma Buckman's Tux of Forjan. Winner's bitch goes to John S. Burke. Mr. Robbins takes over the judging now. judging for best of winners. And here it is, Dr. O.E. Wilson's Latin Frolic of Charivay. Here's the great specials class. Mrs. Miller showing the best of winners Latin Frolic of Charivay. Mr. Loeb showing champion armor on house for Heidi. Hotwall Kennels champion Hotwall's Saber. Helen Hesse's champion Kern Delta's Exactor. Polly and David Tucker's champion Stone Cross Center Van Rama. Mr. and Mrs. James W. Norris's American and Canadian champion Gusto of McClan. Manuel R. Lombardo's champion Lombardo's Tati. Bob and Mary Kay Brockett's champion Markable's Olivia. Wilva Don Kennels champion Helgi Aus der Boden Schiheimat. The Cowleys champion Ulla of Rocky Reach second. Here's Gerald Metzger handling champion Jeff Lynn's Bella. Lang Scotter showing champion another sweep of Longworth. Here is champion Laura Lee of Longworth. Mr. and Mrs. Harry Polonitz's champion Nodrick of Matterhorn. This is Longworth Kennel's champion chimney sweep. Here is Denise Codner's champion Denley's Jet Pilot. Mr. and Mrs. Al Hutchins champion Marka Bowles Ophelia. Herb Miller with champion Hasso von Lichtenden Berghoff. Champion Lex von Templeblick. Champion Otella von Nodland. Ted Yanimoto's champion Copper Canyon's Banner. Champion Ron Zook's Photo. F.A. Porter shows Emil Letterer's champion Luxie von Lieberstrom. This is champion Willa Grange Holly. George Young shows champion Laura von Templeblick. Here is champion Troll von Richterbach, shown by his owner, Mr. Applebaum. Stuart Bryant shows Martha Jane's champion Bala von Hoy Lindy. Harold Harden shows champion Laura Lynn's fleet. This is champion Pride of Knollcrest, owned by Dr. and Mrs. J.G. Snavely. And here is champion Stormcroft She, owned by Gladys Harrington and Betty Morgan. Now for the judging of this class of wonderful shepherds.
Mr. Robbins looks them all over very carefully. And here is another of the truly high moments of this great show, as Judge Burr Robbins selects the best of breed and 1957 Grand Victor champion Troll von Richterbach, owned and shown by Erwin R. Applebaum. now addresses himself to the task of picking best of opposite sex. And here she is, the 1957 Grand Victrix champion Jeff Lynn's Bella, owned by Mr. and Mrs. Robert O'Donnell and shown by Gerald Metzger. together, the Grand Victor and Grand Victrix, with their handlers, the judge, and Mr. Bob Williamson, president of the German Shepherd Dog Club of America, with the coveted von Stefanitz Grand Trophies. the crowd surges forward to congratulate the happy winners. At this show will be awarded for the first time the Ronnie of Menorah's Memorial Trophy, donated by Mr. Carl A. Stoley for the best American bread in the show. Mr. 
Mr. Robbins judges now for this new award. He selects Hotwall's Kennels champion Hotwall Saber, who you see now with the judge and his handler, receiving the beautiful silver bowl from Mrs. Minerva Bloomer. The best puppy in the show is the bitch Kuna von Steinheim, owned by August and Marie Rose. is Longworth Kennels champion Vol of Long. The best brood bitch is Wilva Don Kennels 1950 Canadian Grand Victrix champion Alpha Von Wormsaweg. And Mary E. Turner's brace was the best brace in show. So there you have it, the closing moments of another great national specialty, tired but happy. The cleanup begins. Stacking chairs. Gathering up belongings. Milling around the judges' table. Extending congratulations. saying goodbyes. morning, we begin our journey homeward. So ends the 1957 National Specialty.